Hello, my year 10 class. Um, I'm going to try to put this video together here real quick. Um, I'm going to put my notes up along with this video, and I want you to follow along with me here of what we, what I expected you to get from Marjan and her relationship with her uncle. I hope that you've opened the document right now, or by now. The first thing I want to point out is that in the very first frame, we have shame. We can see that she feels shame in her father. Her eyebrows are pointed downward. The corners of her mouth are downturned. Her elbows resting on the table. My father was not a hero. This is the diction. My father was not a hero. It shows disappointment. And there he is. He's checking on her. He's asking, is everything all right, Margie? Now, we're going to come back to this. All right? We're going to come back to this frame. I want you to keep in mind that she is... Yeah, she, she's ashamed of her father. Moving on. She said, and I had a hero in my family. Naturally, I loved him immediately. This is what she values. Not him as a human being. All right? That becomes clear very, very quickly. She loves him immediately because he is a hero. Now, when she meets him, she doesn't start off too badly. She seems interested in him as a person. She asks, are you married? Do you have children? And how old are you? And as he begins telling her story, we can see her in bed. All right, from the beginning of the story, she's fascinated. She's lying in bed, staring directly at him. We see her face in profile, and her eyes are wide. She says, wow, aloud, as he begins. And the exclamation point makes her excitement clear. I hope you're following along. I hope you see that. We see that the story keeps her attention. What a story with the exclamation point. But he gets the holy smoke. Laylee's dad hasn't even been to the USSR. So her uncle Anoush, his uncle, his support system was arrested and likely killed. That's Fairy Dune. And his family, Anusha's family, rejected him, and he had to go into exile. Does Margie think of how horrible it would be? Remember, this is going to happen to her in a way. She's also going to be go, go off alone. This is foreshadowing in a way. But did she say, oh, how horrible? Or w weren't you scared? Nope. She thinks, holy smoke, Lely's dad hasn't even been to the USSR. The diction hasn't even shows the comparison in which this is better than that. My uncle is better than her father. He hasn't even. So she doesn't care that Anusha's life was torn apart. She thinks it's great because she can brag to her friends. Only a little after that does she say, or does she think to herself, uh, what about Uncle Fairy Dune? What, what, what happened to your Uncle Fairy Dune? But I'll try draw your attention back. I'm going to come back to this. She's been comparing her uncle with, um, with Laylee's father all along. So we get to the end. Here we talk about the graphic novel. What can we tell? Well, Marjan's emotions are hard to read. Is she shocked? If she's so shocked, why does she offer to make chocolate? I can't move. I'm so shocked. Well, no. So she asked for more stories. So one must assume that she wants to hear more to brag about what she's going to hear. And sure enough, here she is showing off. Oh, dialectic, I think it's materialism, all right? She's not shown us anything else except that she wants to impress people. But with this instance, at least she was, she was showing off what she had learned herself. She very quickly gets back to, as he talks about what happened to her, her uncle tells her, of getting his heart broken, sneaking into the country because he missed, his, lost, uh, he missed his family, got arrested, spent nine years in prison. And what does she think? Nine years. It's got the jagged edges around the voice bubble. But immediately after, you see, that's better than Laylee's father. She has no empathy, no sympathy. She does not care that a man, her uncle, suffered like that for longer than she's been alive. No, she immediately thinks of herself and how she can brag about this to her friends. She is happy that her uncle went to jail. Not sad, not angry, not sympathetic. She's happy. 
just when you think she can't get worse, she does. When she says, they say you were tortured terribly like Siema, Glele's father. The audience knows that Marjan wants for the answer to be yes, they tortured me greatly. Nothing would make Marjan happier right now than to learn that her uncle was tortured. Now, is that love? Back at the beginning, she said she loved him immediately. I don't know about you, but I, the people I love, I don't want them to be tortured. Now, in the future, or in the past, it hurts me to learn that, not her. She promises to never forget the family history and goes to sleep. The following day, of course, she brags to her friends, showing how little she cares about anyone but herself. And if you go back and look, you'll be able to see that, oh, the point there is Marjan only cares about herself. And she doesn't actually care about her uncle at all. She only cares about how she can use him, use him to brag to her friends. Now, that's what I was looking for from, from Marjan. I don't know if any of you uh, have done it successfully for Scout. Keeping that in mind, I would like you to continue lesson two. Do not go on to lesson three for Monday. For lesson two, I want you to complete... All right, now if that shows us that Marjan only cares about herself, she only cares about herself and she doesn't care about other people suffering or, or being made to feel uh, 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 horrible, being imprisoned. She doesn't care about that. She only cares about herself. What about Scout? What does this show us about Scout in regards to how much she cares about others? I'm looking forward to your responses. I will be around to talk to you in the morning um, if you would like to talk to me. Please, when you um, put your document together, go to Google Classroom, uh, what's it called, uh, Lesson 2, and put your document in there so that I can, I can uh, see what you're doing, see how you're progressing as you work on it. Um, we talked about this last week. Drisella did that. Thank you, Drisella. The rest of you, um, I'm not quite sure you did. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck.